he gets this one, and he knows this is a big win in a lot of ways. Lance Luis, he started up front tonight. We're trying to change this system. He started there. It was the second row, I believe. The third row. Was there a question in your mind from the start? Uh, yeah, we didn't have a very good race car. Uh, so we were pretty good on the starters. And, uh, you know, a couple guys were using their hands really well there. And they made a couple mistakes and helped us out. But hey, well, we got here. That's all that matters. We'll go work on the race car after this. He had a bird's eye view for two different spins in front of the leaders there. And he was kind of just sitting there and watching what happened. Well, the guy that spun up here on um, one and two out high, um, I was clear of him, no problem, but then he just turned left and decided to drive across the track, and I thought it was going to hit him, but I didn't, and I just heard nobody else would. You know, these guys have to remember, you know, there's a big difference in pace between the guys up front and the guys in the back. When they do something like that, they know they have to realize there's people coming hard. But, you know, we're fortunate nobody got into anybody, and, you know, we got to do it. Well, Lance, this ties you with Todd Schaefer, for second the all time win list, 94 to your career now here in the Speedway. But let's talk a little bit about all the work that you've done on this race car. And the work that we've done with you as we talk through the winter and into the early season about what we can do to help the effort of the world get this thing going. Well, I tell you what, the efforts here, there's no doubt about it. The efforts here more than I ever see in my whole career, and I've been racing here for 26 years, so um, the efforts here definitely, you know, hopefully they get the new play on the rest of the racetrack. I think it's going to be a lot better than what it's been, and you know, you know, knock the dust down. I mean, it's weird. This corner, we can see fine. This corner, we can't see at all, so I know it's not good for the fans, but I'm just proud of the fans sticking out, knowing there's the effort behind us. I want to tell you, it was nice to have a guy like you talk to over the winter to give us some insight into what kind of things the racers wanted to see at this racetrack. With the history you have here, there's a lot of things you can identify for some things we did. Now you talk about that play. We're seeing something here at this racetrack now the last couple of weeks. We're seeing the black slick develop through one and two, and that's something that provides oftentimes a lot of passing. Yeah, you can't have a, you know, like early year, you know, they were making the place so wet to try to control the dust. You couldn't race on it, you couldn't pass on it, it just wasn't no good. Um, yeah, they're, they're doing their best to try and control the dust, but you can't, you can't fix the junk by, you know, water. It just don't work that way, you know. Everybody can see how this corner has been the last three times. It's been slick, but there's no dust in it. And that, hopefully that corner will straight away get like that once it gets in the play. Yeah, the efforts here, like I said, everybody doing a little job, the whole track you know, they work twice as hard as people we race at, but you know, they put the effort forward and that's what we like to see. There in the middle of the race, we got that black slick, I can see you start moving around, you see the wings back a little bit there. Yeah, our race car wasn't no good. I had the wing back on us all the way on the second lap. And, when the starts, it was rolling good, and I could kind of drive across the track and be okay for a lap or two, but it, it get real loose after that. But, you know, we got to the front, got to the bottom, just when I started. And I felt better out front with the clean air as, as normal with these cars, but, you know, I'm just fortunate enough to be here for more and more next week. Let's talk about one more thing before we get pictures going here. There's a lot of things you and I talked about over the winter. One of them is something that's going to go on here in about a month. Donnie Owens is the owner of this race car. Probably your biggest years up to now, other than Paul Dyer. And there's something you're going to do that I told these people about earlier for that dream race. Tell them what it is. Well, we're going to build a 461 for the dream race in honor of Paul Dyer. I was together with him for seven and a half years, and his best racing career I ever, move I ever did. And he um, moved me forward in my career, and yeah, I owe them a lot. And um, it just feels nice to honor him, especially while he's, you know, he's still living. You know, it's neat to do these things like that. And me and Donnie have been talking about it for a while. And, um, we're going to try to replicate my 96 Grove National winning car if we, if we can get it done in time. So we got a lot of work to do next month, but um, we're going to try to do it. Well, we appreciate your support. Last minute, bring Dick Allman, we're going to draw the winning 50 50 number over $900.